going to try and articulate and actually read this one um, the best that I can. So certainly the built environment impacts serotonin levels. Over policing could impact baseline stress and blood pressure. Yes. Living near highways and gas stations impact mm -hmm. inflammation levels and response. So the question is, how does precision medicine account for environmental factors to build the research and curate personalized treatment? Yeah, so the, the, the truth of the matter is that, um, you know, everything that was in that comment is true, but it's not the whole truth, right? So, mm -hmm. um, you know, if the idea is that over-policing may, say, impact stress. Um, it turns out that uh, over-policing may impact a lot more than stress. Uh, it may impact, and this is where we get into the world of epigenetics or mm -hmm. epigenomics, where we recognize um, that persistent stress, for example, may affect your ability to, um, to either turn on or turn off some of those specific genes. Um, and so that is where precision medicine uh, comes into play. Because if there is a certain gene that is more likely to be impacted by, um, by social environmental factors, so not just built environment, but exposure to pollution or exposure to social forces, um, it may mm -hmm. have its impact on um, a, a particular gene, a particular family of genes, um, or it may be involved with a, a set of genes that play a particular function, which is, uh, you know, maybe uh, expressing serotonin or expressing um, uh, a, an inflammatory response in your body. So precision medicine um, can basically find a way to target either one gene or a small cluster of genes uh, and, and change the way that they function uh, to kind of turn down some of these negative health effects. So what's nice about precision medicine and personalized medicine is that it's always looking for that um, health-related effect. So it's not like we're going to go in and sort of push this button of this gene, uh, you know, without a clear idea of what it will do. The idea is that now we're looking at all of the genes in context, uh, which is how we start to look at the genome, so that there are, uh, there's a very, very low risk of what we call unintended consequences, or put another way, a low risk of side effects. So mm -hmm. the idea is that um, precision medicine lowers the risk of side effects, uh, and it may lower, um, it may be a way of addressing some of these factors that are, are built environment and some of these factors that are societal or systemic um, uh, issues that, that may impact our health and drive a lot of these health disparities um, that we see.